What's up, guys? YouTube, what's cracking? We're back on the mini bike today. See anything different? Yeah, I don't know. For those of y'all with a keen eye, you see that I've built a seat. And in this video, I'm going to show y'all how I built this seat. All right, guys. <clears throat> Here's the materials that we're using to make this seat. Uh, we're making a seat. Just real simple, right here. Uh, so here's the materials that I'm that I use. Um, I'll be cutting this piece of ply down a little bit. Um, I use these to anchor uh, anchor to the actual bike. You'll you'll see a good stapler, a uh, piece of flat stock. You'll see where that comes in. Um, this is the covering that I have. I have a lot of this stuff. So we're making a gator seat. Uh, this stuff here is it's called camping foam and you know it uh it's easy to work with you can shape it and stuff uh but this is the the rundown of the materials uh so first thing we're gonna do we're gonna cut these brackets off of here and then we're gonna make some new ones drill some holes and you know you'll see so uh let's do that Alright guys, next step is going to be cutting this flat stock. We're going to be running a piece right across here. I think I'm only going to run just one mount. I think it'll be okay. Hopefully. Anyway, so uh, let me get this measured and cut. We'll be right back. My own sound effects. That's what we got. Seats, I'm going to drill two holes in it, and then uh, you'll see what those will be for. I'm, I'm not going to bore you with the drill press stuff. We're just going to drill two random holes. really don't matter where. You'll see why. So let me go do that. We'll be right back. Okay, guys. Got the holes drilled. Let's weld this thing on there. Alright, welded on there. So now what I'm gonna do is trim down my piece of ply and uh first I'm gonna mark the holes on the bottom of it and then trace the outline of where I want the seat to be. So uh yeah, let's do that. Alright guys. Got my piece of wood cut. Woo, it's twitchy. Anyway, I don't know if <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see that. So I got my piece of wood cut, clamped into place. Um so now what I'm gonna do, let me see if I can get a get a V for you guys. Oh, probably not. You know, I don't know if you can see those two holes, but we're just going to make marks and we're going to drill some holes and we're going to hammer those uh, those T fittings on the top side, bolt it down, trace it up, make some cuts. That's the plan. All right, guys. So, in case you don't know, I don't know what these things are really called. I mean, they're some kind of threaded T flange, I guess. Anyway, you just uh, you knock these down into the hole on the opposite side of where the screw or the bolt comes through, and uh, it's going to pull it tight. So all i got to do is hammer those down, and I'll show you the finished product. Okay, after a few minutes at the belt sander, you kind of get the shape you want based upon your tracings from previous scenes. Uh, so now what we need to do is we're going to round these edges off a little bit. Um, you know, that's one thing I learned when I made my seats before is, it, you know, you don't want sharp edges slicing into that material. So we're just going to round off the edges on them a little bit. Now I'm just going to use my angle grinder with a flat disc. It doesn't have to be perfect because... I mean, well, it just, whatever, just round off the edges and uh, it'll make it, make it better when you start applying the vinyl. So, uh, yeah, let's do that. Okay, guys, 
this is what I'm left with. I'm like literally fighting the urge to overcomplicate this so badly. Like I even started to do it right here. I'm like, nope, just keep it simple. There's no need to overcomplicate the seat. So after fighting back the urge to do that for the past 10 minutes, we're going to move on to the next step, which is going to be um, putting the foam on here. So let me, uh, let me get the foam cut out, show you how that process goes. And uh, we're going to do that right now. All right, guys, as y'all just read, I, uh, I trimmed out the excess while it was under the train track here. So let's take a look. So I'm going to try something on this build that I didn't do on the last one. The last one, I started to do it here. I started, I, I took a, like a razor blade and just tried to round it off. But I'm going to try my belt sander and see what kind of mess I can make with that real quick. So let me go see how that goes and I'll tune, oops, sorry, tune back in. Yeah, so that worked extremely well. <laughs> I don't think I had the belt sander last time I made a seat, so yeah, if you got a belt sander, that's going to be the way to do it. So keep in mind that whatever shape you make here, it's going to show through on your final product. So you can get real creative here, and again, I had to fight the urge not to do all kind of crazy stuff. I just want to keep it simple, and uh, this is what I got so far. So now, we're going to lay some vinyl. She's good and tacky. So all I've done was just flipped over the cardboard to a fresh side because I don't want to get adhesive on the uh, the pretty side of my. Oh, and by the way, if you didn't recognize this, this is this is Gator print. So, all right, let's drop it on there. Make sure we don't screw it up. We'll leave it just like that. Let it flap in the wind, you know. All right. Let me uh, put my train track on here. We're going to let that sit for a few minutes. And then we'll move on to the fun part. All right, guys. Here's the staple gun that I use. I end up having to go out and buy this one. Hey, you want to focus? No? It's an arrow stapler. I uh, When I built these before... I used my old Harbor Freight staple gun. It didn't work worth a flip. It would barely drive a staple into my ply. And uh, these are the staples that I'm using. And these things, I mean, this, this staple gun is the man. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna load the hopper. Then we're going to fold those over.
All right. So after 15 to 20 minutes of fighting with this mother lover, I finally got it. I've never done a curved seat. So that was kind of interesting. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't really know what I did or how I did. I just kept pulling and stapling, pulling and stapling, cutting here, slicing there. And uh, that's how it looks. So it ain't much. I mean, my gator is not directly down the middle, but oh well. Uh, let's go mount this thing on the bike and let's, uh, let's assess the damage, shall we? And there it is. Hmm. Interesting. I think I like it. I think what drives me nuts is the fact that it's like plain looking. I don't know. I guess it's all right. It looks. Looks more motorcyclish to me now. Why did you put the camera at me? Because you're making a lot of noise in my video. All right, guys. What do y'all think? Yes, no, maybe so. I'm trying to give y'all like different perspectives of it. I like this angle right there. Can you? That looks good. Can you? Take Hold on, Vegas. Hold on, bud. Can you take a picture? Hold on, Vegas. Yeah, I like it. I think I like it. The beauty is in the simplicity. So. Anyways, guys, I appreciate you sticking around if you made it this far into my ramblings and weird building styles and techniques, but I appreciate that. Um, I do this stuff all the time, so please feel free to subscribe so you can see more of my <laughs> weird antics in my driveway here. But uh, guys, thank you so much, and uh, we will see you on the next one.